sit on down and sip the tea with the Root Chat, bringing you tonight's Tea of the Week, gossip from the streets, what's trending, and what's cooking at Chit Chat Chew. This is the Group Chat with your host, the Travis Ware, Darius Williams, Troy Gaskin, and George Sloan. Now, let's chat. Hey, 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 what's up, guys? It is the one, the only, represent the biggest hall section all across the world. It is Travis Well, and welcome back to the group chat. <laughs> what's going on, Darius? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to see Travis because I see you already on your bullshit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and since we talk about BS, what's going on, George? What's going on? How y'all doing? <laughs> and last but not least, Tag, you did it. What's up, Troy? Hey, what's going on, what's going on, guys? How y'all doing? I'm feeling a little sparkly tonight. Me too. I'm feeling very much Diana Ross and the who who she say with the Supremes. Mm-hmm. It's the I'm feeling Aretha Franklin. Franklin. Everybody look good. But I do <laughs> want to say something. Travis, Everybody. we're not gonna be we're not gonna open up every week with that. You gotta come up with something else. I'm going to say what I want to say. If you don't like it, you can turn the channel. I sure don't like it. Well, you ain't got to like it. It ain't well, for you to you like it. Long I like it. What you long want me to I do? Like it, long the people like it. What you Let, want me hold, to do? Hold it. What you want it. me to do? You tried this with me last week, George. I ain't putting up with the night. Pink please coming out tonight, okay? Don't so tell me right. what has happened. Hold Let's talk Christmas. about the right now. Don't tell me what has happened. Talk about the right now. Now, well, right now, you about to get smart. another slip. You keep trying me tonight. Little Debbie got dead, and I'm a dead you tonight. Come on. I'm <laughs> talking to you. Troy, Troy, back to you. Okay, guys, what's going on? Y'all don't know what's going on. Um, let me tell you, it's been so much going on today. It's been going so much going on last week, this week. And let me tell you, you about to get right into it. Y'all already know the hottest tea that is on the desk today. Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez has officially started their trial for the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion in 2022. And, you know, we all know the story. We all know what happened and what's going on. Now, today in court, Megan gave her testimony and some things came out. And, you know, how are you guys feeling about it? Because she said that Tori, her and Tori, well, Tori said he wanted to leave the party because, well, she said she wants to leave the party because, you know, things were getting a little bit out of hand for her. Um, Tori got in the car. They started getting into it. She said she wanted to get out of the car because she didn't feel safe or whatever case may have you. She got the car shot, started ringing out. Tori pretty much told her to dance, bitch. That was, that was a, a legend because, you know, some of the documents or, or what we've read today <laughs> that she said. Um, he didn't say that, um, and everybody is that other people say she didn't, he didn't say that as well, if I read it correctly. However, um, you know, Megan gave her testimony today and she spoke on all these things. And Tori is still saying, you know, he's you know, he said that he didn't do it. Megan said that he offered her a million dollars. Uh, Kelsey saying that he offered her money to be quiet. Like, at this point, for me, I just want the case to be over with. I want somebody to be locked up because all of our time has been invested into that. So somebody needs to go to jail. Well, what I will say, it seemed like Tory Lanez, he walked out the courtroom. Um, he seemed like he was very, very happy. He was smiling, cheesing hard. And then it seemed like Megan, it, from what it looked like it seemed like Megan didn't really get what she thought she was gonna get on day one of the trial. You know, a lot of people call her Pinocchio right now. P- Pinocchio the style you right now because some of the stuff is not adding up what exactly what happened. But I don't know. It seemed like Tory right now day one. He's smiling. He could be crying tomorrow, and Megan could be you know saying I'm a stallion the next day. We got to say it right. But I, well, you know, now, I, I, I just want to know how long we got to go through this. I, I hope. Okay, listen. Who cares? How, why are we going through it? Why we got to be a part of it? I guess because they're celebrities. Look, they got rich folks problem. We, we we still looking at gas prices over here. I, I don't care. No one's talking I, about the yeah. Cadillac. I, 
Now what I said. This is your karma. This is your karma, George. You sat up here last week Let me, and you said the twenty know nothing about fashions, and you see how he pulled up. And the first thing that he wanted to do is tell you up about that Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I have no room and no space to argue with anybody tonight. I don't Great. have it. Okay, now so you can come for me, but I'm going to send you back. And it's, it's the holiday, so you will be delayed. That is going to be as well. And we ain't got that pizza tonight. Um, but I want to say this though. Now, with Kelsey and Tory Lanez having gun residue, gunpowder on their hands, or you know, on them, do you think that maybe Kelsey could have shot the gun allegedly, and Tory Lanez is trying to grab it from her, or do you think that she was struggling with Tory to get the gun? Do you think that the gun residue just happened to get on her after she was after he was shooting and it was in the car, like? It's just so many bits and pieces to the story, and I want the I really want the story to be put together, and I'm hoping the lawyers put it together for us so that when the documents come out, we can sit right here on the group chat and talk about it. This, but there is this is what I'll say. You know, in court cases, you have to prove that something happened without reasonable doubt. And where Megan the Stallion went wrong was accepting that interview with Gail King. And I don't know who on her team advised her to accept that interview. But they are using pieces from that interview to cast doubt in the case. And that's all Tory Lanez really has to do is cast doubt and make it seem like there's someone else who, that, who could have committed this crime who wasn't him. But at the end of the day, and I, I know Travis is saying that, you know, they're calling her Pinocchio the Stallion. But how many times do we see a case like this where a woman initially wants to protect the man for whatever reason? Maybe it's because of the clout he has in the industry. Maybe it's because, you know, as Megan said, she didn't want the police to come and lock him up or to start shooting as this was the height of the George Floyd riots and things like that. Or not riots, but rather protests. And, you know, right after that happened and things of that nature. So it's clear, even with Drake releasing this song, it's clear how the industry has received Megan Thee Stallion eventually speaking out about this. And I think that the root of it, this is a patriarchal society and we have to dismantle patriarchy because there should be no question about whether or not this is important. When Megan Thee Stallion, no matter who shot her, was shot in the damn foot. She was shot in the foot. And so I think the importance of this lies in the fact that a crime was committed and Megan Thee Stallion was injured. And when I hear the, you know, the phrase dance, bitch, dance, it, you know, that's what Megan, Megan Thee Stallion is known for, her twerking and all that stuff. Like, of course, she has great rap lyrics, but it's like, are you trying to ruin her career or take this aspect of her career away from her? So I just feel like it's messed up all the way around. Whoa. But she shouldn't have taken that interview because it's left too much open for question. Mm -hmm. So now, what, what, she, one, question, one second, George, because she, I do, I don't think she should have taken the interview. And also with her saying in the interview that her and Tori were not, sexual her saying that she did not have any relations with him and then it come out that she did have relations with him i feel like that knocked her credibility then for me but that's not what she yeah. said when you listen to the clip gail kane asked her did you have a intimate relationship with tori lanes she said like sexual and so then gail restated the question did you have a sexual relationship with tori lanes did you have an intimate relationship with him like sexual yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. Now, I ask the question, if we have sex one time or two times, is that a sexual relationship or is that yeah, sexual yeah, relations? I think that's sexual relations. I wouldn't go so far as to call that sexual a uh, sexual relationship. You You're being too be technical for me. me. You're being too technical that's what, for me. But that's what the law is. It's about technicality. It is about technicality. You're being too but deep now because technically it's sex. Regardless of what it is, they had sex. So but it's a relationship. Not it's, it's not a relationship. It's sexual relations. That is different than a relationship. And I feel like that's why Megan, she was well prepared for that interview, even though she shouldn't have taken it. She rephrased, had Gail rephrase her question so that she can answer it in the way that she wanted to. And though some people might leave it up to interpretation, she didn't lie. She did not have a sexual relationship with that man. She may have had sexual relations with him, but that was not a sexual relationship. So then when you add the when you add ship to relations, does that make it if they three times it would have been a relationship a sexual relationship then? I like, think it's about how they define, define it. How do you define what, a relationship?
I mean, th that's hard to say when you ask me. <laughs> but my question <laughs> is, which is why it was easy for her to say, relations no, it's up to, to relationships. That's that's the that's that's you know that's the battle for me, right? Because for me, relations and relationships. If we if we if we hooking up and we having it and he clapping them cakes and she saying body yaddy 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 yaddy, you know, that's a relationship. But that's but Gail didn't ask if she was clapping and body yaddy yaddy. That's what I'm saying. Like a relationship is something that two people decide together. This is a relationship. So had she asked, were you two they like they asked Bill Clinton, did you have sexual relations with that woman? He had to say. You know, he lied when he said he didn't have sexual relations with that woman because he did have sexual relations with that woman. But was it a sexual relationship? But I don't want to, you know, go back and forth too much on it. It's just a relationship is decided upon by two people. So just like do, you, do you think that Kelsey could have possibly shot me? Possibly. Ooh. I mean, as much doubt as they've cast, it's a possibility. And it's terrible that it has to be a possibility when a black woman is telling you who the hell shot her in the foot. But, you know, it's it's possible. And they're using the good money, bringing out the good attorneys to argue this case. And they're doing a good job. Well, I am ready to see the end of it. I'm ready to hear how it all plays out. Let me tell you something. And I, I do want to make this statement because... Um, I've been in a relationship that's been abusive before. I have a family member that was in a relationship that was abusive where she killed her um, significant other. So I don't take domestic violence lightly. But however, with so many different pieces to this story, I just need the story to come together to make it make sense for me, myself. Because when it happened with my cousin or when it happened with me, like everything was boom, 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 boom. Like I could tell you exactly step by step, but it's so many different pieces to this story that I just don't know what to think or what to believe, honestly. That's that's just my opinion. And I don't doubt her, I don't discredit her because she is a black woman, but at the same time, he is a black man. So I don't, I can't not say what's what because we don't really know all the facts at this point. It's a lot of Ooh. moving parts. So we're gonna wish the best for them. And we're going to hope that it all gets settled. Well, on to some better news. Uh, well, not really much better, but um, Diddy decided to announce his new baby that's more than a couple of months old um, with a cybersecurity female. He called her Mama Combs in the tweet that he tweeted the other day. Um, and... When this came out, everyone automatically decided to just jump on Carisha and say that she was a side chick to Diddy. But we all have seen Diddy had several different women, you know, several different people that he loves on, that he, you know, gives his jump to. Um, so I honestly, I, I don't know at this point point if Carisha is a side piece but I also don't know if I could be in this situation with Diddy I, it's, I don't think it's enough money in the world to have me be out here looking at being looked at as a side piece also being looked at as if you know I got my, my man and had a baby on me and I'm still sitting here pretty much in the forefront now on online and not saying that she was bitter or she was upset but she got online and she did argue with academics about the situation I would honestly just you know I would have probably said something, but I wouldn't have gave him really that much. I would have just had my people after him. No shame. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say much about Diddy. You know, over the years, he's just kind of proven the type of guy he is. Um, mm -hmm. And that's respectfully so. Carisha, she is a very talented and beautiful young lady. And I think she deserves better. And I think she deserves best. Um, and I really hope this is an eye opening for her um, that don't be someone, it's almost like she's like the sidekick. You know, when we want a good ha-ha and a hee-hee, we love to see it together. We love to see them together. But then, like, dude, out of the blue, you you tweet that you got a whole baby. And this girl has clearly shown that she has some type of care about your well-being, that she she really did, yeah. you know. I think if mm -hmm. you could put her in that space to say, hey, that's his woman, she would jump on it. But I really hope she learns from this and understands her worth and know that she is so much better than this. She deserves so much more than this. Um, you know, I'm not calling him a dog, but, you know. 
if the uh, shoe fit, yeah, well, you being nice about it, George, I would be a little mean respectfully. Let me tell you something. When I watched making the band back in the day, when he made all them band members walk and go get him that strawberry cheesecake, I knew he should have been nothing to trust with then. Now, Carisha, what you need to do is you need to be what you damn sing about. You talking about I take your man, da 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 da. Well, honey, go back there and take your man, take her man. She got a baby, now you get a baby. You got a contract with Revolt TV for Carisha, please. Now you need to go back and take your man. You sing about it, that's a hit song. Now you need to hit that in your brain, and you need to go out there and hit that woman, alleged. Don't hit her for real, but hit her with it, her money here, and then you need to go back there and get your man. If you really want to be with Diddy, you need to go over there and be with Diddy. Now, if you want to be with Diddy on one day, and be with Puff Daddy the next day, and then Sean Carter the next day, pick your damn choice. But what I'm going to tell you is, you need to be about what you're singing about because I'm going to start playing that song. Because you're talking about, I'm taking your man, you let some other woman take your man, and she don't got pregnant by your alleged man, honey. That's a problem. Carisha, please. What? Trevor. <laughs> I, I just think that's a lot of smoke for your Miami. Like, if you Carisha, think about please. It, this baby, let's say that this baby is a couple of months old. You know, let's just say hypothetically, the baby's a couple of months old. It's now December. So let's say the baby was born in October. They just announced or had that whole like real bad, like we go together real bad in June. Like th this lady would have been pregnant by him well before the two of them started interacting with one another. And then for people to automatically peg Meg, I I'm sorry, uh, t um, Young Miami or Carisha as a side chick, as if side chicks don't get knocked up and have babies by men every day, it's just problematic for me. Like, who's to say that, you know, she stole this man from this woman? First of all, I don't believe that a man can be stolen. That's number one, even though she's singing about it. But what she also has sang about is, or, or rapped about is, you know, the lifestyle of a city girl. They don't care about what these men got going on as long as she get in the bag, she get in the trips, she's getting the public displays of affection. She's getting the tweets that he made today. Do we have the tweet that Diddy put out today? Child, that's damn the troll. He's trying to get that. That, 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 that is One thing he got in for very No, but this is what I'll say. He took the time to vindicate this lady and say she is not now, nor has she ever been a side chick. And that's a lot coming from him. So if this is something that is a situation that's okay for her, I'm not saying this for me. I'm not saying this for you, you, or you. But if it's okay with her, then who are we to sit up here and be like, oh, you know, she going out like a side chick or she going out sad. She can that well, There is, I'm going to have to agree with you on that because, baby, one thing about it, if a city girl, and like you said, a city girl is a city girl. A city girl, don't, she ain't looking for the relationship. She ain't looking for all that. As long as you get her money, her trips, her bag, she is okay. And like you said, she got that recognition out loud today. And she probably take, like I said, she probably said, hey, I need you to get out here and say something, either if she did or if no, she didn't. Or, but listen though, George, he got out there and he cleared her cleared his name and cleared her name as if she's not the side chick. But also, there I want to also state this too. Now, even though she did have just have this baby, Carisha and Diddy had been dating or had been seen together before even June. They had been seen together before that. So But does even, that mean that know, they were in a relationship? Right. You know, they didn't even confirm right. anything. And even in June, they didn't confirm. They just acknowledged it. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, who's yeah. to say that he's not playing the field? This is a single man. Didn't he just, like, lose his wife or something like that? He's out here playing the field. And he you got somebody. He, right? wants to love his life. he got well, he needs to play the field on his own time. Not play the field with other people. And for y'all sitting here talking about, oh, long she getting the bag and she getting trips and she getting this. This is material stuff. What happened to Seth Wide? But did they say... But then they so say, no, I agree. Girl. And then y'all talking about, oh, he cleared her today, or he cleared her when he made a tweet. Well, it took him how many days to make the tweet? So she George. been dragged how many days? Please. And now y'all want to give him kudos for clearing her? Oh, Diddy is George. allegedly, I'm going to say that because I don't want to come Please. out here. Allegedly, Diddy is a fool. And ain't nowhere George. in the world you are going to be with me in a public on a public platform and then turn around and embarrass me like that. And then after you done got yourself together, you want to then come out and say, quote unquote, clear me. If you felt like she want a side piece when the shit hit the fan, you should have put it out there then. That's George, what I'm saying. Boy, this is Ain't no kudos for she getting the bag. She getting a trip. Yes, she can go live on the tip. Ain't no bag getting no, baby, no baby, bag, baby, no trip. Baby. Mute him, baby. Because I'm the girl that I know. 
the <laughs> girls that I know, the girl, no, hold on. The women that I know would never stand for that. George, you said, never stand you want to you you give your testimony, George? Would never stand for that. George, but yeah. I'll say yeah. You want to give your it. testimony, George? This sounds very personal. You want to give your testimony? Okay. <laughs> somebody knows what's in the Somebody has worked it out. Like, Let's I don't know. Okay, Let me say this. Let me say this. This is not for everyone, and it may not be for everyone. Let me say this. 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 Let me say I'm pretty sure she could and she would be well taken care of. Okay. And that's the end of that case. Travis, do you have anything to say? Anything else to say, baby? No, I'm not going to say, Carisha, please, girl. Carisha, I know. I like you, him now. Carisha, you, you know girl. what? How did George Dale? He asked me. Well, I was talking and he rudely said, cut me off and rudely said, Travis, do you have anything? Now, if you're going to be on this platform and you want to keep coming up here with your little shiny shirt and your uh, smear off in your glass, be respectful, <laughs> baby. I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. What I'm saying is, honey, with a little bit of uh strawberry puree, I'm uh, making her a strawberry champagne drink. Great for you. You're winning yeah. tonight. What? Let me say this. Thank In terms, I'm so sorry, but let me say this. I have four sisters, and so I am passionate <laughs> about seeing a man use a woman or seeing a man disrespectful disrespect the woman just in general so i'm really big and i'm really passionate about that so for me it's not about securing a securing a bag and, and getting a flight that sounds foolish to anybody that has self-morals to be honest now there are some people who will sell their soul for a couple thousand dollars some new teeth i get it but to see a man do this to a woman and then we get on a platform that we hail and we say oh she's securing a bag she's a city girl and she this and that what message are we displaying? The, the yeah. message that we're displaying yeah. is that women have agency and ownership over their situations and they can make whatever decision they want to make. And if Carisha right. decides that she wants the type of man who Thank will, you. you know, celebrate his newborn child on social media and vindicate her and the same you write and still, uh, you know, shower her with the gifts and the things that she likes. Then who are we to judge her? If that's what she We're likes. That's what you know, but I don't even know why I gave so much to it. You are absolutely right. You are, y'all are right. Be, I am wrong. Because what we could be saying about her is that she was shot in the foot by the man that she loved or was having sexual relations with. And we're not saying that today. So let Carisha be happy like and let her live her life. And another thing, academics. He is the scum of the earth, okay? Every time something yeah. happens with this girl, he's making jokes about it. He is dragging her about her car being shot at. So if she decides that she wants to respond to him, at what point is enough enough? So if she wants to respond to him, then she is fully within her rights to respond to him. And also, at the end of the day, academics is always coming for a female and saying something when it comes to women. But when it comes to a man, he wants to holler, oh, you're going to threaten me online when little baby says something to him. Oh, you're going to threaten me online. That's the worst thing you could do because then the police and this and that and the third. But when it comes to this woman, that's who you should be getting at, George. That's the real person that's disrespecting this girl because when she was nine, almost nine months pregnant or her car was getting shot up, he was online trying to make a fool, a mockery out of her and she almost lost her life. That's who you should really be mad at, not did because guess what she's the grown woman she made her choice of what she wants who she likes how she wants to be done and we cannot say anything about it we we can be mad at diddy too though <laughs> I, ain't mad. I ain't mad at diddy diddy can do what he wants they grown but at the end of the day this man is, is antagonizing her and that's what i don't like right well is it my turn now <laughs> yes Okay, my verdict is I order and um sentence um Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs. He changed his name like he changed his underwear. So I don't know which name he's going by today. But I mm -hmm. sentence him to two walks to the nearest cheesecake factory and walk him all the way to Carisha house, then walk him all to your new baby uh, mama house, then walk all the way to the wick office and pick up them stamps and get us some bread, some greens, some meat beans and all type of stuff and then bring them on back and then you sit your ass down and Carisha, I sentence you, make a new album. While you got the clout, the extra clout, you already got clout now, allegedly. But while you got the extra clout, a lot of people are paying attention to you, you come out with an EP and a soundtrack, say I take your man remix and then you really take your man back. That's all I got to say. I love it. And that's how we're going to close that shout out. <laughs> now, 
The next subject tonight is, of course, we saw the videos on TikTok with the X, um, which, you know, I had to figure out what that out was today. But, um, of course, you know, the X and the nurses in the hospital saying that, you know, pretty much giving their opinion of things they don't like during labor and delivery. And honestly, once I watched it and got an idea of what it was, it kind of really just annoyed me. It kind of made me really disgusted that they sat in a hospital and made fun and made jokes of women who are at their pretty much life or death moment in their life. And it just kind of just, I don't know, I, I, I didn't like it. I was disgusted by it. And I do think that it was necessary for them to be let go from the hospital and for people to be coming out on social media and making um, other uh, more videos saying that they've had horrible experiences in this ward in the same hospital with these same nurses. It's disgusting. That's something I definitely feel like was warranted. They should have definitely let them go and they should have definitely, they, at this point, no nurses or anybody that's working in the hospital should have anything on social media and TikTok in their workplace, period. I agree. And I understand you're going to have your own opinions about your workplace and all this stuff. But you talk to your friends at the kitchen table when you eat dinner. You don't bring that on no camera or no workplace. And you and you at work and you talking about it. You know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take all three pink slips away from George and I'm going to get the pink slips to all three of them because they need to lose their job and go to the nearest unemployment office <laughs> if they would get an unemployment check. Period. So now, George, George you better. George, do you have a rebuttal? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think they all should be fired. All should be fired and they should have a, you know, a ban on their licensing for a couple of years. You know, show them what it feels like. Since it was a mockery to talk about these women, as as Troy said, um, you know, we know that a, a, a woman's or a lady uh, risk of death or dying is that most high is that, you know, bringing a child into this world and you sit your ass and, and on a TikTok. And I'm like, how educated are you people? You know, you, you go to school to get all of these licenses and, you know, you need this job because you're low-key, you're still paying for school out of pocket. Um, and so you need this. Yeah. Like, no one said, okay, no, this is probably not the best idea. No one said, no, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, y'all set y'all dumb asses up there and made these videos on TikTok. And yeah, you went viral. Congratulations. And I hope you think you're winning. And I want y'all to see this. You should be sitting that side and you should be sitting home with your head tucked between your ass. You deserve everything you got and you deserve everything that you're getting coming forward to you about this. Me, George, me. You're right, George. And and thinking about the fact that black women, you know, as it stands, are two to three times more likely to lose a baby or lose their life in, you know, as they're giving childbirth. And you think about this happening at a hospital in Atlanta, a hospital in Atlanta which Atlanta is about, you know, 50-50 in terms of the, the breakdown. It's a little more specific than that. But just to think that this is the type of nurse that you'll encounter when you go to deliver your baby, understanding you're probably already scared, you know, because of the, the mortality rate during childbirth for Black women, it's just disgusting. And I think that a few women actually responded to this video uh, saying that they had also had personal experiences with these very nurses at this hospital. And it's just sad to even think that one of them lost their child during childbirth and was like, you know, I was ready to forgive and move on. But seeing this video reignited the fire inside of her, the disappointment and the hurt and the pain that she had experienced. And she actually wants to pursue some type of other actions against these nurses because as she stated, like, Oh, and we have the video here. That second nurse, karma's a bitch. I would never, I would never forget your face. My son will never forget your face. You was there. When we asked so many questions on how my son passed away and you played it off. Y'all all played it off. And two of y'all are in that video. Yeah, it's time for me to take that next step. Because this just pushed me Oh. I was willing to forgive. And so to like just see that video and, and hear the passion in this mother's voice, you know, and to think that these are the type of nurses that she had to encounter while she's doing one of the most strenuous tasks in life, which is bringing another life into the world. It's just heartbreaking. And it makes it so much bigger than just a video about things that 
you know, you don't like at your job because we all have things that we don't like at our job. If I started yeah. making a list, yeah, we'll still, yeah. We'll be, you know what I mean? We'll be waiting for days, yeah. but when you're tasked with taking care of someone, that's literally what a nurse is doing. It's just heartbreaking to think that some people go into these careers for money or they really do want to change the world and it becomes, you know, too much for them in terms of the requirements or the, the time that they work, whatever the situation may be. There should never be a situation where you're this comfortable with sharing that out in the public. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. You know, I will be a fly on the wall when they do start back applying for jobs. How do you go in an interview and say, you know, were you termed? Were you terminated? Why'd you leave your other company? And you got to say, you know, I, you know, all of these accolades I have, you got to sit your dumb ass there and say, oh, I made a TikTok video that went viral. How stupid can you be? They deserve every damn thing they get. And some. Well, you know, uh, hello, ladies. I hope you guys are watching the group chat. Um, you know, I know you guys have got a lot of time in your hand now because I'm sure by now you should have lost your job, honey. You about to lose your job. But guess what? Since you went viral one time, hopefully you can make another video on TikTok and say, hey, I went viral again for losing my job. So, hey, <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, unemployment ladies. You yeah. about to lose your job. Yeah, 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 you about to lose your job. Yeah, 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 they're kissing and sucking on live. They're doing something. But guess what? Christian and Blueface have crazy in love, which Beyonce needs to sue for her name on Zeus original <laughs> series on Zeus. Oh, Zeus Network. Let me tell you. First of all, have you guys watched any of the show? Oh, yes. I got a lot to say. You got a lot I to say? I'm, I'm not going to say the negativity in my house. house. I'm I'm trying to grade papers. I need to reserve. I don't know if in production with them or not, so I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna keep my mouth closed. Okay. I'm trying to conserve the few brain cells I got left, child. I just I just can't. When I tell you, y'all, this situation is when I tell you toxicity on a hunt on a thousand. At one moment you want to help her, then one moment you think to myself. Does she like it? You know, because there is no way. <laughs> I just look at them and I want to, You, there's one of those things you have to uh, laugh and keep from crying because it is so sad to be in the public eye and it is just like, it's horrible. It, I mean, it's horrible. I don't know what's worse. Them or candy corns for how, uh, for thank, uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, Halloween. Halloween. It's a mess. It's a George, you know what? I've heard people say a lot of things about you. A whole lot of things. A whole, <laughs> whole lot of things. But one thing they'll never be able to say about you is that you're not consistent. And I appreciate that about you, George. What they got to do with anything? He's consistent. <laughs> He's consistent. He does, do not tolerate, he does not tolerate toxic relationships, toxic situationships. And I appreciate that. I just wanted to give George his fault. Thank I you. And I can smell them. Too. Travis, let me tell you something. You probably want to sit it he on the back. He's not. He's not, but he don't want no tax in his house. He'll that boy tax it out now. He, he a leave, but he's not. Oh, there. Not from what I've seen. And see, that's what I mean, George. I've heard a lot Thank about you. you. You know Thank what I mean? You, but I, I can say that you are, at least you are consistent. Okay? Thank you, Derek. And that's why, that's why we go out together and have a good time. <laughs> It seemed like you was the only one having a good time because you was the only one drunk while he over there drinking water. Oh, you didn't see it all. Sit back. You wanted I to be there. Sit you back. You ain't me afterwards. Man, I know you at all the time, George. All I got to do is check your location. Did you forget? I want to say, wait, George, you ain't got to speak. I had an amazing time with George. And George, we could go out anytime because you know when I had the most respect for George, when that check came out and he said, we could just split it in half. See, we can go out anytime, George. You're my kind of people. <laughs> Anyways, back to Chris Sean and Blueface. Let me tell you something. I watched this episode now, don't get me wrong. I love listening to Chris Sean Rock. She keep it real. She from Baltimore. You know, she know how to fight. She punch hard. She puts persuasion in that kitchen table. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> 
And now she over there, she crying and she whooping with damn blue face. Now I understand. Now it sounds like all jokes aside, something is wrong with her. And I mean that respectfully. She has a childhood and a baby that's still in her. She needs to go back to that root and find out what the hell is going on. Something is wrong for her, with her. She crying every five seconds. She over there giving him fellatio on, on national television. And you can, you know they were doing it for you. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You know she was doing it for real because you heard that. <laughs> you heard all of that. There what what no, do we hear? Jo what do we hear, Travis? What? <laughs> You heard all I of that. You heard all of that. Dusty. And it was juicy too because you could tell she was enjoying this it. Like you heard all the family sound. No. And you know, hold it, wait a minute. And you know she was doing it for real because if it was, if she wasn't, you wouldn't have heard that noise. You heard all that damn noise and you heard all that damn um, spit stuff coming on her missing tooth area. You know she was doing it right. I didn't like the show with too much crying to carry on, but I'm going to still watch it because next week on Sunday, her daddy plan on punching blue face in the face, and I think he deserves a little bit because he been doing all this crazy stuff, and he she been doing crazy stuff, crazy, crazy, crazy. Ain't no crazy in love. You don't do that stuff. Y'all said they talk about that when she was talking about crazy in love. She didn't say none of that. That's not crazy in love. That is craziness. Craziness. They ain't love. They are lusting after each other. You let this man walk around and cheat on you with all these damn women. Don't have another baby. Don't got videos on the fans, Twitter pictures and stuff with other women in the damn behind his bed. And then you turn around, Krishan, and you make a little cheap little thing video on Twitter. You riding him like that and your sex game look like it was whack. What are y'all doing? Zeus Network, please call down to the group chat because I got a couple of questions. We don't, no, we don't. We ain't got no couple damn questions. I got but I do, you know what? I got one question. Am I living in deja vu? Or did she get her tooth fixed? No, she yeah, had a clip on it. it. Didn't she? It, it was his face on it. All right, girls. Well, we, you know, we pressed for time. So we gonna go on to the next. <laughs> we gonna go on to the next topic. <laughs> The girls come late and leave early around here at the group chat. Drunk, hey. <laughs> now, listen. Now, if you guys are familiar with Legendary um, on HBO Max and also Sweet Life on Max, which is one of my favorite shows, um, and also Offset's show where he did the fashion and he was judging uh, with some other panelists um, on the show, Net, um, HBO Max has canceled all of those shows, and those were really the top three main, predominantly black shows that were on HBO Max. Now, when I seen that, immediately I kind of just thought, is there a little, little, you know, racism or like anything black? You know, they don't want it on their platform anymore. And I'm not gonna lie, I canceled my subscription because honestly, I literally had my subscription to watch Sweet Life on Max, Legendary. Those are my two top shows that I watch. I watch Sweet Life every, like for the first two seasons, top to bottom, over and over again. I love, love, love that show. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm still baffled. I need Issa Rae to do something. Issa Rae to do something. I need um, La Roche and Naomi and all them. To find a, find another outlet because baby, I don't know how I'm gonna live my life without those shows. I just can't. I don't know. I'm not, yeah. Do we know how those shows like how they rated? I'm not sure, but I would think like just looking at the panel, even for Legendary, if you think about like some of the people who have made appearances on that show, I can only imagine what the production cost of that show is, and I wonder if they had enough support to justify um you know continuing the show and i just sometimes i look at these things that maybe within our very small community might be a really huge deal like is it a huge enough deal in the grander scheme of you know viewership for them to justify spending money on like meg the stallion and naomi and you know all of Naomi rather and some of the other like big names because i'm sure that these big names come with big bills so i'm just wondering like you know and then all of the people all of the people all of the cast like i'm sure they have to feed them and like they're probably providing them with you know housing and things like that so i think sometimes it's our fault and sometimes naomi was actually very upset about it. i think naomi was very upset she voiced her um concerns on Twitter. a lot of them voiced their concerns it just was weird to me that it was all the black shows all at once all of them couldn't have been doing bad all at the same time i'm sorry 
I, but but okay, I really go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, but you know, I, a lot of times, like shows that I love, I've noticed get canceled at the end of the first or second, you know, or third season because a lot of times, like we are, we don't we enjoy shows, but it takes a lot to get us to hook into a show and actually support it in the way that it needs to be supported. And so all of the outrage like comes like after people stream it years later. They're like, oh, you know, I wish there was another season of this show coming out. And it's like, why weren't you supporting the show when it was on and going so that the show could remain on and remain going? Well, yeah, I you know, and we- I said earlier, I mean, I said a moment ago, go over to Zeus. I think this will be a great opportunity for, you know, Zeus to look at these shows to pick up. Because when we think about Zeus Network, all we know is fighting. All we know is fighting. And then we got the new show with Blueface and uh, Baby Girl. And that's just depressing in some scenes. So I think this would be really good for that network, especially with the viewer, the you know, the views they need. You can target another mature audience because everybody's not standing in line to go in to interview to fight. You know what I mean? And everybody don't want to see uh, Blueface and, and Baby Girl um, just awkwardness on television. Um, I think it would be a great opportunity for them to partnership. Um, to be and honest, George, I, I get what you're saying. But Zeus ain't going to take that. They do have people standing in lines getting ready to fight for all these shows. Zeus Network has got their artists. They like the hood, ratchet, fighting stuff. I say take this show to Peacock. Take it to Peacock or take it to Netflix and get you know get somebody one of them to do it. They got a broader audience. Zeus Network. You but know, I just feel like if we go to, if, if all Zeus, that, when, that go, that's going to get tired. That's going to get played out. It's the other thing, tired. George, is... Is a Megan the Stallion asking for the same honorarium that a Jocelyn or a Tommy Lee is asking for? Like, it's just not, it's not the same. And let me tell you something, Georgia. Go ahead and say what you're going to say. He is going to, it's going to get tired. It's going to die down and he's going to get tired. And then he's going to realize he has to reroute and relook at what he's putting on his platform. Ghetto, and I hate to say this because we a little ghetto on, on, on the, on the, you know, over there. Um, sometimes, oh, but oh, oh, well. you know, oh, 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 well. oh, oh, well. we, still, we still give class, we still give class, we still give elegance, we still give you know, our you know, what we do. We're still showing the girls like it can be done. Nothing over there is showing that it can't be done, and he's gonna have to rework his set at some point. That's just my opinion. I, so, I Lord, agree. You're right, he, he, needs, he needs something else on that platform, he does. I agree. Well, that's yeah, that on that. Troy? And that, that on that, we're going to move right along to the next thing. Brittany Griner is swapped out for Victor Butte for her to come back to the Americas and him to go back to Russia. He is known as the Merchant of Death. We start getting nuclear bombs dropped over here, baby. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm out of the well, until party. that time happens, Brittany always got a place at my house. Let me tell you something. It is somebody <laughs> <else> <laughs> that just turned me on. And listen, I was hurt when she went up over there and they locked up. You know, I was trying to get an address to write her a letter to let her know, you know, some somebody at home thinking about you besides, you know, your people or whatever. But when they announced that she was coming back, you know, I'm like, baby, listen, I will pick you up. I would have picked her up. I, I would have put my life on the line. <laughs> her up. That is a I am that woman. Oh, I don't know her pronouns. I don't. I don't know, but I'm just gonna say her because I don't know her pronoun. Just one. Just, can we just go for coffee? You gonna let her talk to George? No. <laughs> <laughs> Take that no. <laughs> this damn thing I'm pro. <laughs> Ain't nothing but the damn devil. <laughs> <laughs> um, stay out my business. Stay out of grown folks' business. I'm sorry. There is, I want to hear your input on this. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. At the end of the day, I feel like we as a community, it's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. We have been begging the government to do something about this for months. And I feel like Joe Biden and his administration has done a lot of great work for Americans, but specifically for black people. And, you know, everyone is like, oh, they should have brought Whelan home before Brittany Griner. And, you know, I, I'm indifferent one way or another, but I feel like we have to give credit where credit is due. I'm sure this took months of negotiating, 
Um, you know, it took a lot of work on his behalf. And Russia said straight up they're not sending Wheeling out. So if America was able to get an American back on American soil, then I say kudos to uh, Joe Biden, to Kamala Harris, and to all of the, you know, politicians who work hard to make this swap happen. And just in time for the holidays. So congratulations to her and her family who have been very adamant about getting her here. Darius, I just, you know what? I just don't think this platform would be what it is. And let's say, let me say this. We all bring different um, characteristics and vibes, but there's, I just so love a man. Who, Cause you know me, I get on here and I have a fool. I ain't gonna yeah, care. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just love a man who can just be serious 24 7, seven days. Even when we out at brunch, you was trying to be that serious shit on me. And I had to tell you, hey, <laughs> we had a drink. Calm it on down. But I just enjoy that. And I hope Troy and, and, and Travis can learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm not about having fun, sweetheart. I can't be serious 24 7. That's why I got me a young man, because I don't need no old man trying to keep me down. I need to be up here, baby. So, so now I'm so an old man, Troy? Is that what happened? That's what he said. Maybe, maybe you so enjoy your to be man serious. Young? Troy, your yeah. man, y'all? What's yeah, called? Maybe, don't worry about that. Maybe you and George can, maybe you and Darius can be serious together. Mm -hmm. No, the only thing George and I will be serious about is bird watching. Which is something we, we really enjoy. We we that's something we bonded over. You know, as the two single panelists, I hope y'all don't feel some type of way that we're spending time together. And they do. We oh, don't. Hopefully. I don't. You call anyway. Let's get back to the show. No, you, you call what we me. About to do and then you try to bite me out there. One night. of y'all. And then you want me to make you some pinto beans and some turkey wings and a crock pot. You've been begging for me to do it all week. It's okay. It's okay, Travis, because I fed George. I fed him uh, some turkey wings before we left. We ain't talking about or no catering, honey, because when we came up your house, we had catered food, okay? We did. We did food, because you, you and your castmates don't know how to RSVP in a timely Ooh. fashion. It was well, if we had Darius's serious opinion and George loved it, we're going to move right along. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next thing that we're going to talk about is we got winky, wink, wink. All over Twitter, and it's low fist. <laughs> ah, I'm about to go put his booty hole up there. Show the booty hole. Show oh, the booty hole. Oh, hole. That's a fabulous show. So, <laughs> <laughs> low fist went viral on Twitter yesterday, guys. And all you see was Harry Hole on Twitter, and the girls were going crazy. The girls were gagging about it. It was not something that I needed to see personally because it's just like, okay, like at this point, he might need a point. We, uh, who am I to judge? But I just, I don't know what's getting into these celebrities and letting their booty cats get on Twitter. What's going on? What is the so, thing? So the coochie was, so the coochie cat was Harry. It was Harry Boo. It was Harry. And a little bushy. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, mean you know, George, I mean, hair, but you know. It looked like a little bit of your chin hair, George. Like how me and your chin a little bushy down here. That's how I look. Oh. Mm -hmm. What well, was it pretty? Did he have, was it the hair pretty? <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> relaxed, honey. Huh? Y'all don't be with some, you It was relaxed, Brandon. It, it did. That, that hair was not relaxed, honey. That gave very much when you get paid. And that gave silly from the color purple hair. It was oh. a little nappy. And I guess he done ran out of money from B2K. So he got to do what he got to do. So make your money, honey. How proud of you. But next time, shave that cootie cat a little bit, honey. At least put some nail on it. I don't know about all of that. I, I would have rather not seen that. I could have gone my entire life without seeing that. That's all I'll say about but it. But you researched it. You went on Twitter. And you found it yourself. No, I don't know what you're talking honey. About that's not what happened. Well, what happened? Well, what happened? It I was got to me and it said little fizz and I said little fizz and that's what popped up. It was sent to me as many <laughs> things were sent to me. I've been sent a few things about you, Travis. That don't mean that I researched it. Let's talk about oh, it. What's we don't like have to. Heard? We don't we have can. to. We can. I'm not, we move on. I'm not a peddler of rumors, so we can move on. Oh. Oh, well, you know, rumors don't get you. Oh, Barry, you learning. Yes. 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 Barry. Oh. Oh, hey, man, yeah. tuck him. Hold, oh, hold, 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 hold. Yeah, I was he took him three weeks to learn, so congratulations. That's okay, but he's learning. You get oh, one please. sticker. You please. get one sticker that tonight. Not, I want one sticker. But all my stickers on the board and your one sticker. Welcome to Darius, the Darius, you are making me proud. 
Now, go on to our next topic. Um, <laughs> now, y'all know Ashanti and Nelly have been a theme prior in the past. And they did a little performance recently. And he was doing a little body on me. Hey. So, um, will we be hey, will we be ha- will we uh be here for Nelly and Ashanti rekindling their little past fling, or should they keep it at Zeus Zero Nada and keep it pushing? I don't keep care what they do. It. I just don't want to see it on Zeus. That can stay on the playground. Where is it? <laughs> I just feel like they're you know that. Oh my God, they together. That's over. I mean that whole. I, even if they came out on the show right now, I don't even think I, no one would watch it because it's like. Maybe they would know, George. You know, the nostalgia sales. That's why Escape is trying to peddle this uh, docuseries through the blogs right now. Because bye, bye, I'm Uh-oh, not interested. Bye. But if they think they've rekindled and found love, we here at the, you know, group chat missionary Baptist <laughs> Church of God and Christ for all nations. <laughs> We're here at the group chat. <laughs> You don't even know the name. I don't know why I'm working. I don't know why I'm working. Like (laughs) one. Let me see that cup, George. (laughs) Hand it here. (laughs) We're here at the group chat. (laughs) We're going to support them. And that's just that on that. Travis, what's going on? Oh, Ty, whatever they want to do, do it. All I want a shot to do is, ooh, baby, ah, baby, and it's the stage love with Nelly. Goodbye. <laughs> and that's <laughs> on that. Now, some more important news, um, something I feel like we all should just give a round of applause for, and I'm definitely thankful to Joe Biden for this, especially here in the United States of America, where it is hard for a woman like me in the LGBTQ community, honey. Um, Joe Biden has signed into a federal law today. Go ahead and clap yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. Joe Biden signed into federal law today to protect same-sex marriage and interracial marriage across the United States and honestly I couldn't be more happy, more proud no matter what state you live in, no matter where you go, no matter who you are, no matter what your pronoun is, who you date, who you love, it is okay to be married to that person and I commend him for that. I know he's done things in the past. I know everyone will want to bring up his past and what he did in 1997 six and four but baby we are in 2022. People do change. People do you know get hip to what's going on now in the world and he has done that and he has made it okay for us to love and be who we are in this world so i am very grateful for that and yeah but as black as i am as gay as i am i can say to joe biden we say thank you yeah and what I want that I want to say in my Kamala Harris vice president, Madam Kamala Harris voice, we did it, Joe. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Now, this who's big? I know George and I are single, right but between yeah. Travis and Troy, who's going to be the first person to get married? Oh. Um. Now I am close to Edario. <laughs> yes. That's the one. Edario, because Edario got the ring. I don't got a ring yet, so I can't say. I don't know. I ain't got a ring. I don't know. He just hit a year. So y'all, 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 y'all hear that? Y'all, y'all hear that? These men deserve some rings in 2023. Who's made out that no? But our last topic of the evening is now, of course, you guys, we know that Charlemagne has always talked about on his show. He's always had conversation about tops, bottoms, and all this. On The Breakfast Club, he always brings up this topic. I don't know why Charlemagne is so infatuated with the tops and the bottoms of the LGBTQ community, but I do love that Charlemagne is okay with his sexuality and never talk about it. But Charlemagne said in the interview that he is a top. He's not only a top, he is a power top. And just because he has a nice butt and those cakes sit up high, he's not a bottom. He does not want to be a bottom. He wants to be a top. Do you guys think Charlemagne is a top? Who would you rather let clap them cheeks? 
DJ Envy or Andrew Schultz? Ooh, this is this is a really big question here. Disrespectful question though. Why? Do I look like a bottom to you, bro? But this is really a size thing. It's not a personality. Thing, nah, right? bro. Don't play me. I ain't no bottom, bro. Oh, you're top? Easily power top energy over here, bro. Really? So you just wasting that thing? Taylor said, I cannot say that I'm thick and don't want to be a bottom. That makes zero sense. Wait, 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 wait. wait no, wait, it wait, doesn't. Wait, wait. Well, you got all them cheeks for what? For people to look at and be nah, enticed by. Nah, bro. Nah, You know what I'm bro. saying? This ain't a wax museum. You look. You get to look at this and be enticed by it, nah, but you don't get to nah, clap it, bro. Nah, you better turn nah. around. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Turn around. No. Oil up your ankles. Let your Tims tap. <laughs> Let the tail tap. <laughs> I just want to say, on behalf of Power Tops everywhere, I don't think it's disrespectful for people to think that you are a bottom. Like, you know, I think that we have to end this stigma that comes with bottom shaming because I really do feel like bottoms make the world go round. Um, but I will say this I think that uh, Charlamagne was just a little too comfortable talking about making Tim's tap. I've never heard the term tapping Tim's before so I have to make sure that when I go back to the Power Top Association meeting this weekend I ask about it so I'll know about the oiling of the ankles and the tapping of the Tim's are you a Power Top Barry? you can answer that Troy Anybody got something to say? Because I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I have no clue. I knew it existed, but not in my own family. Not in my own family. So y'all are, so what y'all doing is the team. So y'all doing the business. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Nobody said uh-uh. that. And once again, once again, we're entering into slanderous territory. And I would, George, say you just say that you are on my side. At all I will time. always be on your I'll stand by you. I'm always on your side. Team George, beautiful. Thank you so much for acknowledging the talent that I display on this platform week after week. And no one. Okay, now we're stepping back into slanderous territory in the live. So to answer the question about Charlemagne, I'm here for a listen. You know, Charlemagne, if you want to say you're a power top, you're a power top. You are more than welcome to come over here to our community. We already know you're a part of the community anyway. We like you. We glad that you're an ally becoming a member, allegedly. But you know what? You know, I'm glad he knows. You know, one thing about Charlemagne, before he entered the community, allegedly, you know, he educated himself on what's the difference between a power top, a, a low down bottom, a dookie bottom, a clean bottom. He's well versed and educated about the community. So I'm appreciative that he was able to figure out what his pronoun is. So now we're going to start calling him Charlemagne, the power top, the God, okay? I like Charlemagne and, I, and I like I've it. seen pictures of him. He is very much so cakey. Can we show the picture right here? Oh, George, you're, you're, you're a cakey power top too, right? Yeah. Um, so, Troy, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, I'm going to let Travis close it out. But y'all, this has been what's tea this week. It's been a lot of tea. And this has actually probably been my favorite what's tea all of the season so far. Baby, we've had talked about it all, baby. And baby, I want to say that Megan Thee Stallion and Diddy this week for me has taken the cake. It go to jail. Chris Sean and Blueface, let it go. And baby, Charlemagne, welcome to the community, honey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't talk about power top, but glisten bottles, I got something for you. Right off the break, we got Chit Chat 2. Don't go nowhere, I'll be right back. <laughs> the chat room. This is Group Chat, George. The group chat, but listen, y'all, it is time for chit chat two. <laughs> Guys, we got something for the bottoms, y'all. Okay, we were talking about power talks with Charlemagne, but we got something for the bottoms, honey. We got something I came up with just early on today. We got Tito's banana pudding with no bananas. Ha ha ha! Let's do it, y'all. Ooh, banana pudding. That's my favorite dessert, Travis. Mm-hmm. Listen, y'all. If you listen, your man like your tacos, but you know what? You bottom a lot of bottoms. Y'all would hit me up. Y'all say, hey. 
hey, Travis, that taco is a little too spicy on my stomach. So I'm going to be hungry afterwards. <laughs> but I already took my pure for man. You know, so make sure you take your pure for man, honey. We got a half bottle left, you know, because it's good for your body, honey. Bottles, make sure you take this. Take it. Little fish, you take this, huh? You showing your booty how you take it. Pure for man. All right, so we're going to make sure we take our pure for man. I already washed my hands. I already washed my hands. I already washed my hands. Uh huh. Okay, listen, y'all. If you got your, your man, your man don't came in here. You don't know, took the proof, man. Y'all don't did what you did. He said, "Hey, hell no, I need a snack. I need something quick. I don't want you to make me another dinner. I don't want no more taco. Give me a dessert." And you all don't gain your dessert because your booty hole was supposed to be that enough flavor. But he said he wants something edible, honey. He wants something edible, something juicy, something quick. And all you got is five minutes, honey. This is what you gonna do, okay? We're gonna make some jello tonight, honey. But we're gonna make it with a twist, honey, because if you do it right, he may give you something before he leaves, honey. Are you listening, George? <laughs> George Okay, so since we on to make you on to making this for him, you ain't making this for Thanksgiving or Christmas or for Hanukkah or whatever celebration you celebrate, honey. So we don't gonna make enough for me, okay? So you're gonna put, don't you gonna use this whole thing? But if you're making a big one, you need one container of Jello, honey, vanilla. To get the vanilla, don't get chocolate, honey, because you're gonna come out with a chocolate surprise, okay? Okay, you're gonna put a little bit of that in there, honey. And it doesn't matter what type of milk you use, honey. Don't use that two percent. We're gonna use. I like almond milk with the vanilla because we're gonna get a little a little flavor afterwards. But if the only thing you got is two percent of skim it, use it. It's your business, okay? We just gonna pour that in there. You see that? Look at that. Look what God provide. Is it lactose? Uh, child, this is almond milk. So you gotta read the instructions on the back. I don't know. Okay. So you just gonna whip almonds, that up real quick, you know? Almonds don't have lactose in them, George. Yeah, we ain't got that. I'm not a milk person, so I you know. That's for yeah. the top, okay? Like now, if you can come with too water, it's okay, you know, because that's where we got more milk from. But, you know, it's supposed to be kind of thick, like you make your pancakes, because you don't want to add too much milk, because we added Tito's, you know? Now, yeah. Tito's, you can add how much you want to add a Tito's, okay? The instructions say add two ounces, honey, but this is three ounces, honey, because you want to get drunk out the world, but you want to kick this above before you leave. <sighs> you know, I just get so excited to think about it. Oh, pull all that it did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm now, this get too watery like this, honey. It's okay. Y'all don't see watery stuff if you need to clean out right. You know what water looks like. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add some more. You're gonna add some more. That's all you gotta do is add a little bit more. That's all you got. You see how look. Oh, child, I just want to taste it now. This made me so happy because I'm talking about food. Oh, you know, you ain't don't make no lunch, honey. We don't want no lunch. You want, you know, you get your whisk, but if you making it quick and he said you only got five minutes, if you got five minutes, you better hurry up and make it. You're gonna whip it like you're doing eggs, okay? That's all you're gonna do. And you're gonna actually let this chill. You know, you don't want to serve it to him right now. You're gonna actually let it chill for about five, ten minutes. What you do is during that five, 10 minutes, you're gonna go to him. You're gonna get tell him what time it is. So you're gonna pull the Kashan rock that Kashan did the um, blue face. You're gonna pull one of those numbers while you wait. And then by five minutes, he should be <laughs> Okay, that's all you gotta do. And you know, with the power of TV, honey, let me tell you, honey, this is gonna Ooh, bless yeah. your life. It is gonna bless your life. It is gonna Ooh, bless yeah. your life. It's gonna bless it, honey. It's gonna make you feel good. You ain't gotta worry about clean up. You see, it didn't take us long to make it all, honey. It's really good, it's flavorful. And guess what, y'all? You're gonna get buzzy while you're getting a little sweet. You're gonna get buzzy too, honey. Bon appetite, honey. It's Cheetos, banana pudding with no banana. We don't like bananas in our banana pudding. I actually like bananas in my banana pudding, Travis, but I'll take that because you get ready to buy And y'all, what you do is you get you a little wine now. You're going to be a little tipsy now. I'm telling you that now, but you're going to go ahead and drink up. Hallelujah. Back to you, Troy. This has been Chit Chat Chew. <laughs> oh, next week we got to get somebody else to do it. Please, please. I I, I volunteer. I volunteer. Please. Well, last time I checked, this is my segment. <laughs> and and no, I will read the comment section and see if they want it to remain. Your yeah, segment. I think we're going to have to go. We have to do a new shifting next week. because Well, I, what God has for me, it is for me. And, and take I no don't being paid away. Amen. I don't know that he has God. cooking for you, Travis. I, I don't just don't know. Don't bring God into this event. Let, no, but just, well, we let's just, hold on. 
Hold on. It's last week. You want to come for George and his singing, and George wanted to come for Troy and his fashion. But this week, on this day, I want to let you know, stay out the kitchen, Travis. Y'all, this is a public service now. Let me tell you something. I ain't no chef. I don't proclaim to be a chef. I didn't go to culinary school, but I grew up with big mama, honey. And she told me what to do. And you know, this is something quick and easy, honey. We ain't got time. This is 2022. We ain't got time to be in the kitchen for five hours like big mama used to feel when she burned her arm. We ain't got time for that. We got less than 30 minutes. These are quick snack meals, honey, for the powerless tops and the bottomless bottoms, honey. That's all we got time for. I live, I live for it. I'm going to make it myself, honey, because I love it. You know, Thank I've, you, That's right, Troy. I've never seen my mother make instant banana pudding and if that well honey if you got minutes, five minutes and your man said you I need to hurry up her you're gonna pull out some i food. don't want none and i well, don't think you're on, 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 on. near you go to smoothie king and they got instant banana pudding smoothies so you take your ass to chip-fil-a and you get all them instant shit. now when i over there make something it's, it's a problem let's not for a second i just want to find somebody else to do just hold on, George. Just hold on, because I want y'all to let us know in the chat. Let us know right now who is going to be having some of Travis's uh, Tito's banana pudding with no bananas for bottoms. Y'all put it in the chat. Let us know right now. Are you excited about this recipe? True to form. No one. True to form. Thank you, 50-50. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Troy. Thank you, Troy. We We'll, we'll go ahead and add them up when we get in the chat. We'll do that. And, and what I do, I dedicate this to Little Debbie. Rest her soul. God had this in my mind. And y'all ain't gonna come in here and talk about all that stuff. Because I make dessert. I make love for her. And for you guys to come up here and try to critique the meaning, the great, and the value, the meal that I prepare for all us bottles, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And God ain't got it, please. Ain't clean. You're the reason I don't eat it. You're the reason I don't participate in potlucks at work. That's I'm not, not interested. Now, George, we ain't gonna lie to because I saw a video of you eat that chili when you was at work and you tried to put that chicken salad um little voice up over there. We ain't gonna see her lying now because you was over that there. That came from Wendy's. Now, he, <laughs> did, he did say to get you one of them, and we was at your house though, Travis, and the food was really good. I know somebody else prepared he didn't it. Cook it. We had it catered, yeah. Somebody else prepared it. it. So here's my advice to you: continue contracting that person to make all the meals in your home. Oh, wow. And there's continue to buy that food that you got from there and make sure I have a plate, honey, because that fish or whatever we had was all right. It was a little cold, right. but it was cute. It, it was a little cold. It took y'all a little longer to get here than you said, but I don't know right. next time yeah. when I'm preparing we were about for, 15, 20 for, minutes late. No, I, I will know next late. time when I'm preparing for colors to come to my house, it will be on colored people time and I won't get fried food. Well, you should now, don't get too, too carried away. Oh, I know you're talking crazy. Like crazy. Next trip. We don't want no, we don't want no Brussels sprouts, no kale, no flowers on outside, side, honey. Brain the fry, just make sure the fry is hot. That's okay. I'll, I'll do it for you next time. I have my fryer going on the on the sidewalk. I got you, Travis. Anything for you? If, Thank you. Travis, if I know you're not eating good over there, unless Orion Travis, cooking. Travis, and sister, remember you hold both of their Ooh. jobs in your hand so you can let them go at any time. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Troy, because you know that is a vanity. You know. They forget Hold Troy. Hold up. <laughs> you girls are so, you men, are so quick to say how you can dispose of us at an easy, at, like this, because he's the EP. Honey, Travis don't have the final say. He don't have the final say, but he whispered that the final say. So you know he don't got the final say to say who's going to be here and who not. So I don't know God what you want to do. the final do say, but he whispered in my ear show, told me what to say. But, I'm not talking to you. I'm That's talking to Troy. I don't know what you're trying to do to keep your spot on this show, Troy. Right. But you want to comment on that. You're on the wrong team. Okay. You and, want to and comment you, on down. You can check the comment section. They'll let you know who they want on the show. Because we worried about I'm how fabulous our show is. Let them know, Troy. Not about who's going to fire us. And I'm one of them, baby. No <laughs> doubt. Absolutely, Troy. No I never bad. said you weren't. No doubt. <laughs> well, you know, if they were so worried, if Troy, if they wasn't so worried about us, and worried about my cooking segment, then George should have known he was up next, and he just got this little one little segment the last five minutes, honey. So George, take it away. Can you hear me now? I'm happy you brought that up. I chose to have that last minute segment because I ain't trying to argue with you 
I mean, it wasn't no other choices left. This was the last one. All right, you guys, we've had a lot of interesting things happen tonight. We've seen Banana Put It be made in five minutes. Say it with me, George. Get somebody else to do it. When we come back from our commercial break, we have a few funny clips. So stay tuned, grab a snack, and come on back. Say Banana Put It. What is that? No, it's 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 alive. You're an ass. No, are you normal? Are the you last normal? girl was like, I'm not for this shit. Your ass, bro. Why would you do I that? His ass has been beat because I don't like animals. Okay, oh, that was a that was a good. I said I don't like animals, especially mice. His ass has been beat up. I, exactly, Troy. That's that's all I could think the whole time I was watching that video. I don't find this funny at all. I would have been like Troy was at that uh at that lots of pasta. Boo, boo, yeah. boo, boo. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> I think we have another clip for y'all. Roll it. Oh, me <laughs> Get out Wait. Get out of here. That's that, that's that <laughs> nothing you buck. I'm telling you right now, left hook, right hook, baby. I'm okay, I think you should be fighting segment, because baby. Oh, okay, this ain't fighting, man. This fighting here. You ain't gonna throw nothing at me, honey. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. That that this is a bad segment. Okay. Yeah. That's that okay. hold my wallet. I got money to get out. Sparkle's okay. dangling in everything, baby. Sparkle's dangling in everything, okay? Oh my god. I think we have one more clip for y'all. Hello. The shine. Detroit, from where? Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, how old are you, Deshaun? 29. What's the problem? You didn't hear the question. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You said where I'm from. I said Detroit. You said how old are you? I said 29. No, you asked me how old are you? I said 29. That means how many how many years have you been on Earth? I'm 29 years old. You fucking bozo. <laughs> um, 29. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, I know, girl. I know you ain't trying to go there with the reads because you and I don't make up all your hideous. Like, don't play with me because I can go there. I'm trying to be nice. That wig, like, don't play with me. Don't play with me, Kendra. Please don't do it. <laughs> That's a hard 2900. Oh, you baby, listen, much. life has whooped his ass. Child, they gave me nothing but camel cigarettes. That's, like, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, like, that's why he cut my ass out because comments <laughs> like that. That man said he's 29. He's 29. Well, he I'm, said, I'm, oh, without that damn makeup, bitch. I know you guys are a little older than me, but I'm 29, and you know, I'm just going, this is just your reminder to keep up with your skin regimen. Darren, you 29? I'm 29. Really? I, I got a birthday that. coming up. I, happy birthday. Yes, I and, the, and the theme is going to be black and bling, so y'all can wear these shirts that y'all have to my birthday party. Absolutely Hold on, not. Darius, what year are you born in? 30? 93. 93 for real? Damn. George, <laughs> 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 you weren't born in 1962. Girl, I'm <laughs> I'm 30 years old. <laughs> 
Darius, it's okay. We 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 see it. <laughs> Darius, you look great. You look great. Oh, I, I don't, know, I don't need Darius. Okay. Let me tell you something. I don't need nobody who was born before schools were segre- uh, desegregated to tell me what I look like. Oh, <laughs> oh you George, must be talking okay, to I thought y'all was on side. No, side. no, he talking about you because he's not talking about me. Because listen, but George, you're older than me. I'm thirty. Oh, we're yeah, not older than me at this point. So, hey, how old are you? George? Just thirty. I'm yeah, I'm just thirty. How old are you? I'm, I'm thirty-eight. Ooh, baby. I oh. guess George is the oldest one. You sure about that, Troy? Yes, I'm 28. I look it. Get into the mud. We don't have to go there. I think I have one more video for y'all. Roll the clip. I begin to pass out. Then <laughs> my head hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I begin to pass out. Then <laughs> my head hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I begin to pass out. <laughs> And my head hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing that tried to kill her. She tried to hold on to. You might touch your ass. Would have made his ass dear me. I would have had dear me. Oh, baby. The same thing that tried to kill her. She tried to hold on to. No, Troy, that is not. That is not oh. that uh, Buck's fault. Buck, he did what Bucks do. Okay, they Buck. Listen, she nut that he Buck. That's why y'all need to stop going out here into the oh. wilderness and, and stick to the rivers and the streams that you used to, okay? Leave them animals alone. They didn't ask you to be out there. <laughs> let me, let me Listen, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer left Karen with a shiny red nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me just say this. That was a message in that video. A lot of y'all been getting hit and you still holding on. Let it go. <laughs> Take let a minute. Let it go. Sit down and tell me what's been happening. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God! Now, that wait, was wait, one second, Georgia. Before we close out, because um, your comment is we need to stop drinking. Were you trying to say that I look older than twenty eight? Because you haven't stuck. Say it with me. And I began to pass out, and my head hit the wall. Boom! I bet. You, I bet. Go, you, uh, you don't I bet. You you don't get time to respond. Baby, you see me? This is all together. This is young and intact, baby. Take that can we, out for me. Can we blur out? Was that a read for me? Can we please blur out the nipples? No, no, wait a minute, Darius. Oh. I think Troy tried to read me this now. Because the big and tall says you're all across the world. We like a little fluff. Me too. I like a little fluff. But Darius, they have to come for me. I mean, not Darius, George. They're the same person at this point because they're on the same team. It's TNT and D and, D and G. Now, Troy, you know, I've had your back, Troy, okay? Recall that. When none of these people had your back, I had your back, okay? Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. Right. So don't throw me away because now I, I'm friends with George, so now we can't be friends? No, we can always be friends, George. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I need to get y'all names right because y'all just the one in the same thing. That's okay. They they talked about Jesus. Anyway, that was my wrap of the funny videos tonight. Troy? Back to me? Back to you. All right, well, George, thank you. Thank you guys for another week of the group chat. Listen, we had so much fun tonight. I really enjoyed this week. From the hot topics to the bottom banana pudding, to Darius with his antics, and to George with all the mess and the funny videos. I love it, I love it, I love it. Y'all, make sure you're tuning in each and every Thursday here at 8 o'clock p.m. right here in the group chat. Get you a group chat, text your friends, and let them know to tune in each and every week. Boom. The group chat. Your segment is my favorite, George.